Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel and please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos and today our topic is uh, to find the deflection of a cantilever beam to derive the formula and to know how it how it works and to how uh, we find the deflection of a cantilever beam All right so we are assuming here a cantilever beam the fixed end of the beam is a cantilever and and this, we suppose that the length of the beam is L represented by L and this is a fixed support and this the load is acting here on this uh, free end of the beam is W and we suppose that we find to find here is the X distance from here from the right support so we are going to find its moment here and we need this moment to find the deflection right so uh, to start the deflection uh, we know that the moment at this uh, distance from the right support x will be equal to the moment will be equal to the m will be equal to the as uh, clockwise it will be negative minus into w into x into x right this is the moment and as we know that the moment is given to us uh, ei into dy d square y into dx so we will put this in, in place of this so we will get uh, that the EI into d square y into dx square is equal to the minus into w into x right so now we will integrate this uh, uh, this equation to find the slope and then we will integrate the slope equation to find the deflection right so first step is to integrate this equation right by integrating by integrating we will get we get ei into dy divided by dx is equal to the minus wx squared divided by 2 into plus c it's a constant right so we are getting the constant and now we will apply the boundary condition to find this constant right so what should be the boundary condition boundary condition boundary condition and boundary condition will be that the at this fixed support right this support the dy into dx is it is slope it will be zero at the distance x is equal to the l when x is this distance x it becomes equal to the l the slope will be zero at this point because it's a fixed support it will only deflect like this way so there will be uh, slope as well as the deflection but there is no slope as well as the deflection is equal to the zero right at this point so we take into the boundary condition that at x is equal to l l the dy the slope value will be equal to the zero right so we will put a dy by dx is equal to zero and x is equal to the l we will find the constant right so i'm writing again this equation by putting value we will get ei into zero is equal to the minus w l square divided by two plus c one right we will get is equal to minus w l square divided by two plus c one and c one will become plus w l square by two right so this is the c one value and we will put this c one value here in this equation right represented by static so putting this into static right we put this value we will get the slope right so after putting this value into this equation into this equation so ei dy divided by dx is equal to the minus wx square divided by 2 and plus c1 will be plus wl square divided by 2 so this is the equation to find the slope at any point right this equation is used to find the slope at any point is for to find sorry for to find find the to find the slope at any point right slope at any point now we are interested to find the deflection so uh, how we can find the deflection here and we will integrate this equation again by integrating 
first we will get the ei into y is equal to the minus wx cube into 6 and it will become wl square x divided by 2 plus c2 right so again we are going to find the boundary condition from boundary condition will be like that that this is x is equal to the l we are getting deflection is equal to this at this point because it's been not deflected it's a fixed support so it this is x is equal to the l the uh, deflection will be equal to zero y is equal to the zero so it will help to find the boundary condition at at x is equal to the l the deflection is equal to zero so we will put this zero into this and x is equal to l and these values so we will get the uh, c2 constant right it will become uh, 0 is equal to the minus w into l cube plus w l cube again 2 plus c to right we just push the will these two values in this equation so we are getting this equation so c2 will become I replace this equation and it will become um, plus wl cube into 6 and minus wl cube into 2 so we are just simplifying it 6 and it will become wait uh, and it will become uh, 6 is the same so it will become wl cube minus 2 3 wl cube right so c2 will become um, subtracting this minus 2 wl cube into 6 c2 will become minus wl cube into 3 right so this is the value of c2 this is the value of c2 right and so now we will put this c2 value into this equation into this equation and we will get the y the deflection for the cantilever beam right so how it will work it will work like putting this into again into static equation and it will become e y e i y is equal to the like sorry it will not be shown here e i y is equal to the minus w x uh, cube into 6 plus w l square divided by 2 into x and plus and sorry minus w l cube into 3 right so this is the equation to find the uh, to find what to find the uh, deflection at any point we can find the deflection of a cantilever beam with uh, with this uh, with this concentrated load at the end support we can find the deflection at any point now we are going to assume to find the deflection at x is equal to the zero it means the deflection will be maximum why because from the start we assume that the x is the distance from the right support so taking the uh, this, um, uh, deflection here at x is equal to the zero so it will be maximum deformed right so we are going to find the deflection at the uh, free end so x, uh, at x is equal to zero the y will be maximum so we will we can find it here that y is e, at e i y is equal to the uh, it will become zero right it will become zero it will have to become zero because x is involved and x is equal to zero so it only this remains w l cube into three right this portion remains and we can simplify it that the y is equal to the minus w l cube into three into e i so this is the equation for to find the deflection at the support end right this is the maximum deflection we can say so y maximum is equal to the minus wl cube into 3 ei we can find the maximum deflection by this formula when the load is concentrated at the in support so this formula i minus uh, this formula minus wl cube into 3 ei we can find the deflection here this maximum deflection which is occurring at here but from this equation we can find the deflection at any x value right but when x is equal to the zero we will get the maximum deflection and we can find it by this equation where 
W represents the load acting on the uh, concentrated load acting on the beam. L is the length of the beam where these two are the I is the moment of inertia where E is the elasticity of the uh, material from which the beam is made, right? So this was all about how to find the deflection of a cantilever beam and the maximum deflection of the cantilever beam and um, please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos and thank you.